Hey, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. There we go. Oh, look at that. And there you have it. She's found the other egg. Wow. Hey, there he is, Bobby Rubino, looking nice. Oh, what a gal. That's a beautiful lizard, huh? Oh, what's that now? Oh, we found the first one. Can you imagine just him in the wild, searching around, looking for eggs? That tongue's flicking. He knows there's got to be another one around somewhere. It's right here. Come on, Slim. You can do it. Somebody has been digging a little bit, and I'm curious as to why. I wonder if she's, uh, I don't know, she doesn't look too fat, but she's been interested in digging over here. And that's pretty cool. I don't mind a pinky dig, pinky dinks, <laughs> pinky digs. But uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna give her a couple of eggs and I'm gonna give some slinky eggs too. These are actually some sulcata eggs that you can see were damaged while they were laid. So it's usually uh, a good deal for me because I get to feed them off to the monitor lizards. And uh, I love doing that. And you can see here, it's earlier in the day, so she's not quite warmed up enough yet, but she's certainly interested in eggs. So what I thought I'd do is maybe place some eggs around the enclosure. And this way we can give her a little enrichment. And I like seeing her in a larger enclosure. We're gonna be building her new enclosure very soon. There's so much going on, guys, as you can imagine. We still got the Cayman enclosures that are going to be built here very soon with the good old Aquascape crew. They're coming down. But look at her go. So she's going to eat that shell and everything. Wow, she just gobbled that down nicely. Good girl. Let's see. Why don't I go ahead? There she is right there. Let's just see if we can. Here's another damage when you see this. Uh, so these things would actually just desiccate. I'm not going to hide them too much, but I just want to see if she can find some of the eggs uh, here today. So we'll just leave this one here. I'll save these <clears throat> for Slinky since he's a bigger man. Come here, baby. I wonder if she'll go ahead and look for it. The other thing that I want to do is show you uh, something that I'm really stoked on, actually. Uh, my friends at Fluker have a lot of really cool products, and this one in particular has really got me pumped. These are canned Dubia roaches. Uh, these come in handy. These are an awesome treat. It's, it's tough for me. I, I don't like uh, messing with insects. It's tough for me to keep them alive, um, and I don't really want to set up a, you know, an insect farm, but check it. These canned roaches and canned crickets, canned mealworms are awesome. I'm really, really excited. Look at this. So these are great. And they're great because everyone loves them. Watch. Look at this. She's going to smell it. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll lay, I'll just get her attention. Come on, look at this. I keep missing them. Look, look at this. And you can kind of do the same thing I'm doing with the eggs by throwing them down. But watch, when she finally catches the scent of it, she's going to be pretty excited. But they are great way to feed your reptiles some good natural foods which is something that fluker uh, is very good at doing they really have the best natural foods out there uh, on their farm so let's see let's see what this tongue's gonna do is she gonna find one of them oh i think so there we go she loves the dubia roaches and it's just a nice little treat and again, we're doing a little enrichment here so she can actually wander around and look for food and do what a monitor is supposed to do. I love this. These are the moments I really enjoy uh, spending with my animals because I get to see them display their natural behavior, which is the reason we love these things, you know? Um, we wanna see them respond to their environment. That's how reptiles really are just so fascinating, the way they're, the way they interact with their environment. Now, this is a quick makeshift habitat we did for her um, because we are, as I mentioned earlier, gonna be giving her a new enclosure very soon. You guys are gonna see that take shape with our friends at Custom Cages. Now, is she gonna go back in that hole? Wait a second. What's this? What's this? What's, oh, she got another one. Look at that. Good girl. Hey, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. There we go. And I wanna kinda get her over here and see if she'll find that egg. Um, which I'm sure she will. Really cool. We're going to lead her to it. 
but I just love, I don't know, I love these. Um, I was really excited when I got these because um, I always wanted to feed roaches because they're so nutritious for your reptiles. And uh, it's kind of hard sell to get the wife to keep these things in the house. But the fact that these are canned just makes life a whole lot easier. So here she is, our little pinky. What a beautiful gal. And that tongue's working. Let's see what happens. Let's see if she explores this rock crevasse. That tongue's going. It's going to be nice to see her in a new environment. Um, one that is way more dialed for her. We're going to have a water feature in there from Aquascape. Um, she's going to be really taken care of. And it'll be closer to Slinky. So that when she does ovulate, I am going to try and reintroduce them. So that we can get some babies, perhaps, of our girl, Pinky. Good girl. Good, good girl. Oh, look at that. There you have it. She's found the other egg. And the fact, it's so funny, it's a cooler morning. It's only about 69 degrees. And she wasn't inside of her box. I found her out in this hole. She was already out digging. So um, the fact that she still has an appetite while she's cool is pretty cool. Good girl. Gotta love her. Real special animal. Wow, that's awesome. And eggs make up a big portion of their diet in the wild. They raid nests of crocodiles, turtles, birds. Um, they really can do a number on an egg, uh, on a nest rather. So here I get to recycle eggs or rather repurpose eggs that aren't going to make it. We just feed them off to the monitor lizards, which is pretty cool. So nothing's wasted here at the camp. Look at her go. And of course, if she does eat the eggshells, she's gonna get some calcium. And they have those powerful digestive enzymes in their bodies that can just dissolve everything. Um, everything but feathers and fur. But since we're in here, um, let's go ahead. Oh, look, she's got, made a little mess there. Uh, since we're in here, let's have a look. I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, roaches out here for Rubino. These guys had some poultry. They ate some chicken earlier. There he is, Robert. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry to wake you up, but come on out. Come on out. Oh, gosh. Let's go ahead and put him out here. He'll get a nice early morning sunbathe. The sun's going to be rising up there. There he is, Bobby Rubino, looking nice looking big he's getting so big all right so there's bob flattening himself out here and he's got some of these i'll put these up here so he can see them and when he's warmed up he's not gonna eat until he warms up a little bit <clears throat> overnight um 69 degrees isn't terribly cool for us but for them it actually is let's see how inky's doing check on our girl inky i'll put some out there with her as well but let's go ahead and see what she's doing because it's been a little while for her there she is there she is oh my gosh there's a beauty there's a beauty here's our beautiful girl see that come on there she is oh she's gonna go right under she's gonna go right back in hmm Let's see. Oh, hold on, guys. Let's give you a better look at her. Our little lady. Oh, what a gal. That's a beautiful lizard, huh? That's a beautiful lizard. There she is. Good girl. All right, there's our little Inky. What a gorgeous little animal. So glad she's home. I'll go ahead and get some dubias in here. She'll go ahead and smell them and then she'll eat them. Oh, you're going to go in the water. Look at this. 
there's a girl right there we'll just leave those like that now let's move on and go check out our man Slinkapoo. all right be right back Slinky. all right so what we're gonna do here he comes come on Slinky. let's go ahead and put an egg up there these aren't really hidden well, but I just want them to kind of search around for them. Plus we've got the roaches in this tin. Come on, Slinky. Come look what I got for you today. It's a little treat. Here he comes, man. Awesome lizard. Come on, Slinky. You gotta come over here. You gotta come over and see what I got. You gotta wander. He is so beautiful. Um, once I get all these other projects done, I am going to finish the job of detailing Slinky's enclosure here with the Universal Rocks and uh, touching it up. Really stoked on these Universal Rocks, the way it makes this habitat look. We're going to clean up his box. I'm going to make the hole a little bit bigger. Oh, what's that? Oh, we found the first one. Good boy. Look at that. That's an egg for you, man. There you go. Come on. Good boy. Awesome the coolest lizard ever can you imagine just him in the wild searching around looking for eggs birds carrying all sorts of food items man that's what these guys do they just wander around looking for food awesome there's another egg here I don't know if you're gonna see it uh, uh, I think his lizard brain his eyes are looking at it let's see he looks like he's on to it that is so rad. No need to rush for an egg. It's not gonna run away from you. I love how gently he grabs it. Gives a little crush here. There you go. Look at that, he gets the yolk right down. Love it. All right, there's another egg though. Plus we have all these treats for him. But where's that other egg? That egg, I don't know, it's not too conspicuous, but let's see. Let's see what Slinky does. This might take a long time, I don't know. Come on, Slinky! Oh, man. I'm not the most patient, man. But let's see, that tongue's flicking. He knows there's gotta be another one around somewhere. Oh, man, let's see. Is that tongue actually working? Look at this, he's coming over here. You notice how he flicks back and forth, back and forth in either direction. Come on, Slinky, you're onto something, I know it. We saw you hunt a snake. He was able to pick up the scent of a snake. All he's gotta do is just lock into it with his eyeball. It's right here. Come on, Slinky, you can do it. This is a fun little experiment. And this is the fun, this is what's fun about having these large enclosures. You really get, that's my camera and my fingers. You really get to see these animals display the proper range of their behaviors. And uh, I love it. Look, he's gonna come up on me, which is fine. I don't mind if he walks on me. He's a good boy. He's always been good to me. We haven't had any issues. Hopefully we won't have one now. Oh, that's a nice claw. Oh, that's claws. Those are claws. Those hurt. Hurt my little human skin. I'm just a little blood bag, buddy. I don't have much of scales or armor like you do. So when you walk on me, it hurts a little bit, buddy. He's like, Dad, come on, I smell something. What's this? What's this over here? I just, you know what we're going to do? Let's see. Come here, Slinky. What's this? What's this? What's that? Now it's in a more conspicuous area. Let's see if he can see it. I mean, he was onto something, which is pretty cool. Okay. He smells a bunch of roaches and... What's this, Slinky? Slinky, that's my chest. He's really pushing into me, man. What's this, Slinks? What's this, Slinks? Come on, Slinks. Oh, that's it, huh? Not in the mood. Oh, a little sneeze. <laughs> little sneezies. 
You got sneezies, buddy? Hope you're not catching a cold. Let's see. Come here, Slinky. Hey. What's that? Go. Go. Nice and gentle. Slinky, you don't want it? Good boy. <laughs> That's my boy. Right down. That's a good boy. All right. So we did that. Now let's just go ahead and give him these roaches. You see, he's never too big to eat insects. And especially when we have so many of them, I think he's really going to appreciate them. Look at this. What a cool lizard, huh? It is so awesome to spend time with this animal. Nothing, <clears throat> nothing gets boring here. Um, these animals are always mystifying and their behaviors are always so cool. And I love spending time with them. Now you know that there are a lot of curly tail lizards in here. Curly tails are actually invasive. They're actually from the Bahamas. They're not a native Florida species, but they've proliferated and they're all over the place. And they live in this enclosure. And I guarantee you Slinky grabs the odd, the odd one. Look at this Slinks. Look at this. What's this? What's this? What's this? What are these? You want to try these out? Oh, try those out. What a good treat, yeah. Again, he gets a real wide variety of foods here. And, um, you know, he'll have fish, he'll have mammals, you know, rodents, um, eggs, croc chow. And today he's having fluker dubia roaches, the canned dubia roaches, which is just <clears throat> a really cool way to feed your carnivorous and insectivorous reptiles. I love it. <clears throat> so what do you guys think? Do you feed any insects to your large lizards or small lizards? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, have you guys ever used these before? I really like them. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, because I really think this is a great way to feed them. So check them out. Our friends over there, uh, Fluka Farms, doing really cool stuff, man. Keeping our animals healthy and fed. Fat and happy, as I like to say. So there you go. Another fun video with Slinky and the rest of the monitors here at the camp. So good to see them. I love that we have all of our family together. And if you guys look just out back there, you can see that I've got a lot of dirt right here. The Cayman enclosures are going to be built real soon. We got the Aquascape crew coming down. We're going to spread all that dirt. We have got a lot of work to do in the next couple of weeks. But the Cayman will be coming to the camp real soon. In the meantime, guys, enjoy watching Slinky finish his meal. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone. I really enjoy sharing my animals with you. And I hope you're having a fantastic day with your animals wherever you may be. Be safe, and I'll talk to you real soon. So long.